Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kat. I usually share easy knitting tutorials for new and busy knitters. If this interests you, please consider subscribing to my channel. However, today I'm doing a slightly different video and that is how to DIY your own chunky, chunky double pointed needles. So keep watching to find out how I did it. If you're brand new to knitting and don't know what double pointed needles are, they're needles with a point on both ends. They're used in sets of four usually and occasionally sets of five to do circular knitting. So that is instead of knitting a flat piece of fabric, you knit a tube. And this is really useful for socks, hats and many other garments. And I even use circular needles to make my wedding dress. So recently I had an idea for a new pattern for a chunky hat and I wanted to knit it in the round so that is another way of saying to knit circular uh, but I didn't have any double pointed needles large enough for the yarn I'm planning to use so I wanted about a 9.5 millimeter diameter so I looked online and not only are really chunky double pointed needles or DPNs hard to find but they're also really expensive if you're looking in the region of $12 for a set so I decided to make my own and I made mine for about $3 for the set. So just so you're not scared, <laughs> I'm not a woodworking pro by any stretch of the imagination and I didn't have any fancy tools. But I figured out a pretty neat hack to make these uh, the sharp tips that you need to make a good knitting needle and that is to use a pencil sharpener. So let me show you how to make your own cheap and chunky double pointed needles using a pencil sharpener. So the things you'll need are a 1.2 meter length of wooden dowel. I bought a 9.5 millimeter diameter length of dowel from my local Bunnings, which is a large hardware um, warehouse, for $2.74 Australian. You'll also need a pencil sharpener, of course. So if you're making chunkier needles, you'll need a pencil sharpener with a larger hole. And uh, just a warning, do not use your best sharpener for this project as it's pretty hard on the blades. So you might even want to buy a new sharpener for this project if you don't want to risk blunting your regular sh pencil sharpener. Uh, you'll also need a saw to cut your dowel or you can ask your hardware store to cut your dowel for you. Um, so mine are cut to 30 centimeter lengths. Um, you need some sandpaper. So I just used what I already had at home, which is P180. Um, and I used an already partly worn piece, as you can see. Um, so it didn't roughen the wood up too much, so I wanted something that wasn't very coarse. So if you're buying sandpaper for this project, I'd suggest a finer grain. Uh, but like I say, I'm not an expert, so I can't really recommend a specific grain. Um, we want our needles to be as smooth as we possibly can because the worst thing is if your needles snag on the yarn while you're knitting. And you'll also need to smooth out the needles. You'll need some varnish um, or gloss to paint your needles and a paintbrush, of course. Um, so yes, this pre prevents snagging. I used a polyurethane floor finish, which we already had, and it did the trick pretty well. Um, as you can see, I have made two of the needles already and I have two unfinished ones which I'm going to show you how to make now but you can see that there is a bit of a gloss on them a little bit of shine and um, they feel pretty smooth so I'm pretty happy with them so if you've got all of your equipment let's get making so to begin with like I said I cut my wood to 30 centimeter lengths um, so that's about a foot and I did this myself with a saw, but you can get the staff at your hardware store to do it for you. And I know that at my hardware store, they'll do that for free for you. And then I marked, just with a pencil, an inch from the edge. And that just gave me a bit of a guide as to where to shop, stop sharpening with the pencil sharpener. So the next thing you need to do is just to grab your pencil sharpener and start sharpening. The secret I found to this technique is to go slowly 
and be prepared to stop and sand it down if your wood gets snagged. Don't wait until it's really jammed in the sharpener before you stop or the wood will get rough and the shape of the point will get uneven. We're aiming for as smooth a point as we can so your yarn doesn't get stuck to the wood while you knit. Keep sharpening until you get about to the line that you marked, an inch from the edge. Now the next step is really important, we're going to use our sandpaper to get the wood as smooth and snag proof as possible. Now I should say that this won't make a factory quality perfectly consistent all the way around needle, so your ends won't be completely uniform with one another either but they'll be pretty close and they'll work just as well. So as you can see on one of my finished ones, it's slightly lopsided, it's all right. And on the other side, this one had a little bit of a nick in it, and yep, that I couldn't quite sand down without kind of deforming it. So it's not perfect, but it'll do the trick. So we'll, we'll just sand down and get it as smooth as we possibly can all the way around. Try to blunt the end just a little bit so it's not as sharp as a pencil, but it's still pointy enough that it will be able to um, collect up the yarn nice and easily. And once you've smoothed off one point as best you can, you need to do the same on the other side. Once you've sharpened a point on both sides of your needle, just give the whole needle a quick sand just to catch any little splinters that might snag your yarn while you're knitting. Once you've sanded down your needle, I'd then recommend you finish your needle with a couple of coats of varnish or polyurethane coating. I use this polyurethane floor finish. As well as preventing the wood from splintering, it gives the wood a nice sheen. Once you've made your set of needles using this method, all that's left to do is to start knitting. I made my needle so I could design this really simple chunky baby beanie. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see how to make it because I'm planning to do a tutorial for that soon and tell me in the comments below what you're planning to make with your homemade double pointed needles. I hope this video helped you turn some yarn into fun today.